This is the McGraw-Hill Seasons Interactive, and it's going to help us understand how the directness of the sun impacts seasons. Right now, this planet is straight up and down. Earth has a 23 and a half degree inclination or tilt. This is not Earth right now because it's straight up and down. Notice the X marks where the person is on the Earth and what they would see bottom left in terms of the seasons and how high the sun would be in the sky what the sunlight angle is like striking the earth at that point, and then we have the temperatures here. So I can drag this planet around and we could look at specific times or I can run it really fast. Notice that when this planet is straight up and down, we have no change in height in the sun's position throughout the seasons. The sunlight angle is always the same, striking the surface at a 45 degree angle, and the temperature is always mild. I'm now gonna change it to be earth and put a tilt on it. So take a look at what's happening here. First, look down by the house. Look at how low the sun appears to rise in the fall and winter and how high it gets in the, high, in the sky in the spring and summer. Look at how the sunlight angle is changing as we revolve around the sun and also how the temperature is changing. Let's slow it down. We're in winter right now. And at winter, the, the Earth technically isn't closer to the sun. So that's a misconception. Some people believe that in, I meant I said that backwards, but some people believe that in winter, that we're farther from the sun and that's why it's cold. And in the summer, we're closer to the sun and that's why it's warm. But that's actually not the case. Because the Earth is tipped this way, the sunlight hitting the Earth's surface is at an angle. So notice that extreme angle. And indirect light is less warm than direct light. Therefore, it's cooler this time of year. And because of this tilt, we don't see the sun as high in the sky. I'm going to drag Earth and move it until we hit spring. So notice how much higher the sun is in the sky. The sunlight angle is getting a little more upright or direct. The temperature is warming up as well. I'm going to move it over to summer. I'm going to hit about midsummer here. High sun in the sky, more direct sunlight. And because those rays are straight up and down, it creates more warmth. The temperature is warmer there as well. So imagine that you had a flashlight that you were shining straight down at your hand. And the direct light of the flashlight would be pretty warm. If you tipped the flashlight to its side at an angle and it spread the light out across the palm of your hand, that would be less warm because the light would be less direct. I'm now gonna grab Earth and move it to fall. Notice that the sun is getting lower and lower in the sky. The angle is getting a little more angled again. Our temperature is dropping. And then we would get back to winter and this would continue. So let's speed it up one more time so you can see all these things. Warmer, more direct light. And then colder, more indirect light. Again, we're not any closer or farther from the sun. It's just the directness of light that makes a difference. What about a different planet? Venus is a little more straight up. So this would basically be the same as what we saw at the beginning, there is a two degree inclination, so there are slight variations in sunlight angle and the height of the sun in the sky. But really, there's not that much of a difference as compared to Earth. What about Uranus? Can you see Uranus there? It's on its side. This is kind of crazy. I'm going to play it slow. So on its side in winter, remember every spin on the axis is a day. The sun is below the horizon. So there is a point where if you were in that northern hemisphere, which really isn't northern anymore because it's on its side, the northern hemisphere, quote unquote, of Uranus, there'd be a time where you would never see the sun. Here, you can see that it quickly ends up higher in the sky. I'm going to drag it around. And then eventually it's going to go below the horizon. It's not rising as high anymore. I'm going to play it fast. Watch the sunlight angle. This is extremely warm when those arrows are straight up and down. You can even see the temperature rise at that point. 
because that sunlight is extremely direct. And then when you can't see the arrows at all, that's when the sun is below the horizon. So it's a good thing we're set up at our inclination that we're not on our sides because we would have very extreme temperature differences versus something like Uranus, which is just going from extremely hot to extremely cold all the time in theory. It would also depend on the atmosphere of the planet and the heat holding capacity and all of that. But if we're looking at the directness of the sunlight, that's what's happening with the seasons on Earth. <laughs>